Six Flags is synonymous with excitement and unparalleled amusement. But what happens when a wonderland turns into a graveyard? Welcome to the Six Flags Accident Marathon where we cover its most gruesome freak accidents. It was no secret that Six Flags had parks all across the country and the world. They are known for their fascinating and adventurous rides. There were roller coasters that twisted and turned, water rides that splashed and soaked, and gentle rides for the little ones. The parks had something special for thrill-seekers, adventure lovers, and families too. Six Flags became a place where dreams came alive. It wasn't just about their regular rides. Six Flags had special features and unique attractions that set them apart. People would stare in awe at the magical fireworks displays. Halloween and holiday events were like stepping into another world. And the animal attractions? They were a whole different adventure. Because of all these amazing things, Six Flags became one of the most popular amusement parks around. Kids begged their parents to go there. Friends planned their trips together. It was a place where memories were made, and everyone wanted to be part of it. But not all memories were happy ones. Accidents happened at Six Flags, and some of them were very serious. Several accidents happened for several reasons. It's a sad truth, but these accidents did happen. They were part of the Six Flags story too. We're going to explore some of these accidents to understand what went wrong and how they could have been prevented. Buckle up because this ride might get a little bumpy. First, La Ronde was one of Six Flags' exciting parks, with thrilling rides that took people's breath away in Canada. It was the scene of several injuries and falls through its rides. The first accident here was on July 8, 1979, when a leisurely boat ride turned into a chilling nightmare on the Mississippi River. The paddle boat, filled with excited sightseers, suddenly capsized, plunging 50 to 60 passengers into the murky waters. Panic and chaos ensued as the boat began to list to one side. Passengers desperate to escape danger rushed to the other side, sending the vessel into a tumultuous dance that led to its tragic downfall just meters from the safety of the dock. The outcome was devastating, with three lives lost and ten passengers hospitalized. La Ronde was devoid of accidents until 2012, when a 67-year-old park employee was killed while performing maintenance on La Vampire Ride. La Vampire was a twisting and turning roller coaster that allowed riders to fly like bats. It was one of the park's most thrilling attractions. On investigation, the employee was reportedly found underneath the attraction in a restricted area and appeared to have suffered head trauma. Officials with the park did not know why the employee entered the restricted area of the ride while it was operational, but they did state that the ride was operating normally and that procedures for entering restricted ride areas, including notification of ride staff, had not been followed. On August 25, 2019, the Super Manege ride became another antagonist in the story of tragedy. The Super Manege is a speedy train with twists and turns, like a crazy roller coaster road. During one of the rides on that fateful day, a passenger's safety harness malfunctioned when one of the trains began its initial ascent, causing an emergency stop. Safety sensors on the Super Manege stopped the initial climb of the train. Luckily, there was no injury to anyone on board. Next up is Six Flags America in Maryland. Its own list of accidents and tragedies cuts across five rides and two park-related tragedies. First, Hurricane Harbor has seen several incidents over the years. The Hurricane Harbor is a water park located within Six Flags America. In 1983, a nine-year-old boy, Christy Davis, drowned in the wave pool. A prematurely born baby boy was discovered behind the women's changing rooms in 1987. In 2005, a 29-year-old woman suffered a heart attack on the shark attack water slide and died. A 14-year-old boy was critically hospitalized after being rescued from the wave pool in 2018. In 2021, a young boy suffered serious injuries after falling into the wave pool. Next up is the Joker's Jinx ride. The Joker's Jinx has trapped riders twice. In 2014, debris caused a train to stall, leaving 24 riders stranded. All were safely evacuated. In 2017, another stall left riders stuck, and they were rescued by firefighters. The Joker's Jinx is a roller coaster that will leave you breathless. The Joker's Jinx is all about intense twists, turns, and inversions, making it a must-ride for thrill-seekers. You'll experience corkscrews that spin you around like a top, heartline rolls that create a feeling of weightlessness, and sudden drops that send your stomach soaring. However, in 2014, 
Debris caused a train to stall, leaving 24 riders stranded. All were safely evacuated. In 2017, another stall left riders stuck, and they were rescued by firefighters. Thankfully, they were all safe. On September 22, 2001, a 16-year-old girl fell into distress after riding the Batwing. The Batwing is a flying coaster, which means that instead of sitting traditionally, you'll be suspended from the track, simulating the sensation of flying like a superhero. Once you're securely seated and harnessed, your adventure begins. The Batwing starts with a dramatic ascent, lifting you high above the ground and offering breathtaking views of the park. As you reach the top, your heart races with anticipation for what's about to come. Then, without warning, you tilt forward and dive headfirst toward the ground, simulating the exhilarating sensation of flying. The little girl died at Prince George's Hospital Center. An autopsy showed a pre-existing heart condition was the cause. It was possible the ride worsened the heart condition. On August 3rd, 2007, a six-year-old girl suffered minor injuries after falling from the Octopus Ride in 2007. The Octopus Ride is a dazzling spectacle that features a central hub resembling an octopus, with multiple mechanical arms extending from its center. Each arm is equipped with seats for riders, creating a mesmerizing visual as the ride springs to life. Once seated and securely fastened, the adventure begins. As the ride operator initiates the octopus, the arms rotate independently, creating a thrilling experience of spinning and lifting. The sensation is reminiscent of a roller coaster combined with the thrill of spinning teacups. Riders are gently lifted off the ground and carried on a dynamic journey of twirls and spins. After investigations, it was discovered that the little girl was standing while the octopus ride was in motion. The park has also witnessed several other guest-related incidents, such as, in 1997, four young men were stabbed at the park. In 2014, a 15-year-old boy was severely injured in a fight during the Fright Fest event. Next on our journey through the history of accidents at Six Flags is a stop at Six Flags Astro World in Houston, Texas. Like the other parks, Astro World had thrilling and enjoyable rides but also witnessed some tragic events. Alpine Sleigh Ride The Alpine Sleigh Ride was a unique attraction that sought to replicate a journey through a snowy mountain range. Passengers were seated in cars designed like sleighs, and the ride simulated a bumpy and thrilling descent down icy slopes. On January 12, 1974, a woman was injured when her sleigh was hit from behind by another, Excalibur. Excalibur was a steel roller coaster designed to give riders the sensation of being medieval knights on a daring quest. With steep climbs, sharp drops, and twisting turns, it was a favorite among thrill-seekers. Tragically, on August 9, 1997, a maintenance worker was struck and killed by the coaster train while working on the track. Mayan Mindbender Themed around an ancient Mayan civilization, the Mayan Mindbender was an indoor roller coaster filled with mysterious twists and turns. The ride's darkened environment added to the excitement but also concealed the danger when, in 2001, a 13-year-old boy was thrown from the ride due to a faulty lap bar. Texas Cyclone as one of the largest wooden roller coasters, the Texas Cyclone was famous for its intense drops and airtime hills, mimicking the wild and unpredictable nature of a cyclone. Riders experienced excitement mixed with fear, but on two occasions, that fear became all too real, with injuries in 1977 and 26 people needing medical treatment in 2003. Texas Tornado With its looping twists and spiraling turns, the Texas Tornado was designed to give riders the sensation of being caught in a whirlwind. However, on May 10, 1998, the whirlwind turned into a nightmare when the train lost its grip on the lift hill and slid backward, crashing into another train in the station. About seven people were taken to the hospital, and about two sued for neck and bag problems. Next on our tour of accidents at Six Flags is Darien Lake, a park known for its unique rides and memorable experiences. Yet it has not been without its own share of tragic events. On September 6, 2009, a strange and saddening incident occurred. The body of a man named William Sutherland from Pennsylvania was discovered in one of the small lakes inside the parking lot. He had been reported missing the day before. The cause of his death remains a mystery. There is also the Mind Eraser, a ride that twisted and turned, making you feel like your thoughts were being scrambled. On May 13, 2018, something scary happened. An armrest broke off one of the chairs while the ride was moving. Fortunately, no one was hurt. 
and the armrest was replaced. Imagine riding a wooden roller coaster that roars like a fierce predator. That was what the predator was like. But on October 5th, 2019, the ride lived up to its name in a way nobody wanted. A 36-year-old man from Michigan suffered shoulder and spinal injuries when the headrest broke during the ride. He claimed the headrest was partially broken before he even got on, but the attendants didn't notice. The Ride of Steel was a roller coaster that promised excitement with its towering height and speedy drops. But it was also the site of two tragic incidents. On May 16, 1999, a man fell about nine feet from the ride, suffering serious injuries. He couldn't close his lap bar properly, and he later sued the park and manufacturer, winning $2.85 million. Then, on July 8, 2011, a 29-year-old Iraq War veteran who had lost his legs was thrown to his death from the coaster. Investigators blamed operator error, saying the park workers didn't follow the rules about securing riders. The ride was closed for two weeks before reopening. The Silver Bullet was another thrilling ride, twisting riders around in wild loops. But on September 30th, 2017, several guests were injured as the ride came to a stop. The exact cause is still unknown, but a park spokesperson said it wasn't because of a malfunction. Last but not least, the Viper, a roller coaster known for its sudden twists and turns, had an accident on September 5, 1982. A blown fuse caused the train to stop suddenly when it was 126 feet up on the lift hill. The 28 passengers had to be brought down after the power was restored, and two other rides in the park were also affected by the fuse. Next up is Six Flag Discovery Kingdom, which is located in California. At Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, the thrills go beyond just the rides. It's also home to a diverse range of animal encounters. Unfortunately, it's seen its share of accidents and incidents, both human and animal related. In the animal encounters area, incidents have occurred with various species. On January 5, 1996, two trainers were injured by cougars during an exercise session. One of the trainers was severely injured while playing with the animals, while the other suffered minor cuts and bruises in an attempt to rescue his colleague. On July 31, 1998, a Bengal tiger named Kuma attacked a guest, causing serious injuries to her head and upper torso. The incident was initiated when the guest fell off a photo platform, startling the tiger. The trainer on the scene also suffered minor injuries during the rescue. The elephant enclosure was the site of a tragic event on June 2, 2004, when Misha, a 23-year-old African elephant, gored her trainer with her tusks. This was not the first time Misha had displayed aggressive behavior, as she had previously swiped at a trainer two years before. The park also experienced a tragic loss when a fire broke out on September 5, 2007, leading to the death of a two-year-old giraffe. The fire, believed to be caused by an electrical short, destroyed the animal's enclosure, though two other giraffes managed to escape. Shifting focus to the park's shows and rides, on June 6, 1999, a stuntman performing in the Batman Water Thrill Spectacular show was injured after being thrown off a jet ski and hit on the head by another. He was airlifted to John Muir Medical Center for treatment. Boomerang, one of the park's roller coasters, experienced a failure on August 25, 1999. A mechanical issue stranded 28 passengers on the ride for several hours, leading to cases of severe dehydration and sunburn. Firefighters eventually rescued and treated the riders. In another incident involving a ride, a 42-year-old woman suffered a brain hemorrhage after riding monkey business on July 21, 2001. Despite receiving medical treatment, she tragically died two days later. On July 3, 2010, a parking lot accident injured three people when a tram collided with a swinging metal gate. A man and his young son were taken to the hospital, while another individual suffered minor injuries. A violent altercation between park guests occurred on August 25, 2018, resulting in five arrests and minor injuries to a police officer. Lastly, on September 4, 1999, a nine-year-old boy was injured on the Scatabout, a scrambler ride. The boy slipped below the safety restraint and was thrown from the ride, receiving cuts to his legs. The park later stated that the accident occurred because the boy intentionally slid beneath the restraint. The history of Six Flags Discovery Kingdom showcases the need for caution and awareness, both by park operators and guests, while the majority of visits to this renowned amusement park are filled with joy and excitement, the incidents mentioned serve as a reminder that safety must always be a priority. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is a place filled with excitement and adventure, but there have been some incidents there that we need to talk about. Let's take a look at what happened. On July 8, 2000, 
Seven people got hurt because of a chlorine spill in the park. They had to go to the hospital, but thankfully they didn't have any serious injuries, and they all got to go home. A different kind of incident happened on July 11, 2007. A 37-year-old man got into trouble for secretly filming young girls in the water park section. People say he was trying to film someone without permission for a not-so-nice reason. Now let's talk about a roller coaster called Poltergeist. It's a thrilling ride that twists and turns at high speeds. But on June 12, 2007, a 14-year-old girl became paralyzed after falling into a gap between the roller coaster's cars. She landed on a concrete floor about 10 feet below the platform. Her family thought she might have fainted because it was so hot that day. On August 28, 2010, two people got stuck on the poltergeist for two hours. Then, on May 29, 2021, 20 riders got stuck in the same spot for three hours. The fire department came to help, and everyone got off safely by 3.15 p.m., Another place to explore is Frontier City. There you'll find a ride called Mystery River Log Flume. It's a water ride where you sit in a boat that floats along a river. On June 14, 2002, three people from Ada, Oklahoma got hurt on this ride when two boats bumped into each other. They had to go to the hospital because of back and neck injuries. A little later, on June 23, 2019, a woman hurt her back on the Log Flume ride. She slid backwards and hit herself on a pole. Luckily, no one got hurt. Finally, there's a ride called Wildcat at Frontier City. It's a wooden roller coaster that gives a bumpy and thrilling experience. On June 21, 2019, two riders got hurt when a tree branch fell on top of them. One of them had to go to the hospital, while the other had minor injuries. On July 26, 2021, a man tried to climb onto the Wildcat's wooden supports to give water to passengers when the ride stalled. The park said this was dangerous, and they kicked him and his family out and banned them. Next up is the Six Flags Park in Illinois, Six Flags Great Adventure. On August 18, 2004, 20 passengers were stranded on the Batman and Robin the Chiller ride, 75 feet above the ground for 40 minutes after lightning struck a substation outside the park, causing the ride itself to eventually lose power. A dual-tracked launch roller coaster that used to operate in Six Flags Great Adventure in Illinois. The two tracks were named Batman and Robin, both providing unique experiences. Another incident on the ride occurred in May of that same year as it malfunctioned when one of the ride's 200 electric motors began smoking and was shut down temporarily for 45 minutes. On June 2nd, 2006, two cars on the original Robin train were damaged as a wheel bogey on the third car suffered a mechanical malfunction. No one was hurt in the accident and passengers had to be evacuated. The coaster was closed for the rest of the 2006 season. In 2007, the Zero-G rolls were removed from both sides and the Batman train was repainted red. The Robin side would reopen on April 7, 2007, but a second wheel bogey malfunction would occur on June 28. The ride was shut down because of this. Instead of spending more money to fix the ride, which had constant issues, Six Flags decided that the chiller's time in the park had come to an end. The cost to fix the ride would not be worth it, and they could not be confident in its ability to operate consistently. The coaster was swiftly dismantled in the fall of 2007. On August 20, 1998, eight people suffered minor injuries on the Congo Rapids after a rope underneath the raft was caught on an object, thus making it suddenly stop. The Congo Rapids is an exciting whitewater rafting experience at the park that simulates a wild river adventure. On July 15, 2012, a goose was trapped in the ride's conveyor belt. Park staff stopped the belt to prevent the rafts from going any further, but the goose was killed instantly once the ride continued to operate. On September 13, 2015, a girl from Gibbstown, New Jersey was injured on El Diablo, a looping coaster that provided a 360-degree experience for thrill-seekers when her safety restraints came undone as the ride started. As she exited the ride, it was shut down for technical difficulties. Two years later in 2017, her family filed a lawsuit against the park, claiming that the staff didn't check them before they were secure. The ride is no longer at the park, but was relocated to La Ronde for the 2019 season. On August 19, 2016, a woman was injured on El Toro, one of the tallest and fastest wooden roller coasters in the world. This ride delivers an intense experience with steep drops and rapid speeds. After being struck in the face by an unknown object while riding the coaster, 
The park's medical staff treated her before being taken to a local hospital for further evaluation. The attraction reopened the next day after park officials inspected the ride to ensure it ran safely. On June 29, 2021, a train partially derailed when the rear car's upstop wheels, designed to prevent the train from lifting off the track, moved out of place and onto the track. The train stopped just short of the final brake run, where the riders were safely evacuated. No one was injured in the accident. The cause of the accident was not immediately clear, and the ride remained closed pending the outcome of an investigation. The ride reopened on April 2, 2022, the opening day of the 2022 season. On August 25, 2022, 15 riders reported back pain and other minor injuries after riding the coaster. Five of these were hospitalized and all five were released shortly after. Those injured complained of increased roughness at the bottom of the third drop. The ride completed its cycle and was closed for inspection. In a statement, the park said that the ride will be completely re-inspected by a third-party maintenance team and the state of New Jersey prior to reopening. Employee guest incidents include three parkgoers being stabbed on March 31, 1986, in two separate incidents, including an attempted robbery inside the park. On April 19, 1987, an unidentified gunman fired several shots into a crowd on the plaza inside the main gate, wounding one man and sending panicked guests running for safety. It was the third violent incident of the day following two earlier unrelated stabbings. The park was evacuated a few minutes after the shooting, about an hour earlier than its scheduled 8 p.m. closing time. Park officials modified security after the incident, including adding metal detectors at the park's entrance. From 2004 to September 2007, safety inspectors checked out Six Flags Great America five times and found four problems. On September 10, 2007, they caught Great America with 38 safety issues, like bad emergency brakes on a truck and missing labels to stop machines from starting up by mistake. They had to pay $117,700 in fines. Now let's dive into some specific incidents. The American Eagle, a giant wooden roller coaster known for its dual tracks and thrilling drops, witnessed multiple accidents. On September 9, 1984, three guests went to the hospital after two trains crashed. Then on September 7, 1997, four people got minor injuries when parts of a train separated and collided. Tragically, on May 22, 2002, an 11-year-old girl suffered a brain hemorrhage after riding the coaster and went through brain surgery. Near the American Eagle, Antoine's ice cream parlor became the scene of a bizarre accident. On October 12, 2008, a park worker dressed as a werewolf fell through a window, injuring a guest. Cajun Cliffhanger, a spinning ride, was the site of a scary incident on July 19, 2000. A 12-year-old girl crushed two toes when the ride's floor was raised too soon. There were 13 other incidents involving this ride in the 10 years before this and the ride was shut down. Demon, a thrilling roller coaster with loops and turns, also had its share of problems. On July 13, 1993, a slow-speed collision injured eight people, and on April 18, 1998, 23 riders were stuck upside down for three hours due to mechanical failure. The Edge, a drop tower ride, injured three teenage boys on May 22, 1984, when the ride vehicle fell back down. On April 2, 2014, a fire broke out in the Grand Music Hall Theater, but caused minimal damage. In the legal world, Six Flags faced a lawsuit over collecting fingerprint data from guests. They had to pay $36 million in a settlement. The park's Fright Fest event wasn't all fun and games. On September 23, 2017, a family was hospitalized after an attack by teenagers. More recently, on June 27, 2021, a man was knocked unconscious during a fight, and on July 19, 2022, an altercation with police led to an arrest. There were several other incidents with the Six Flag Part Great Adventure rides. Finally, let's take a closer look at some incidents that happened at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, Chicago. Safety is the top priority at theme parks, but sometimes unexpected events can occur. Let's delve into two unfortunate accidents that took place in this park. First, we'll explore Hurricane Bay, the park's famous wave pool, where visitors can experience the excitement of ocean-like waves without being at the beach. Tragically, on June 29, 2005, 
a 68-year-old guest from the South Maplewood section of Chicago, had an unexpected and severe heart attack while enjoying the wave pool. Despite the best efforts of the medical team on site, the guest did not survive. Next, let's talk about the Wahoo Racer water slide. This thrilling ride lets visitors race down parallel slides, competing against each other for the fastest time. However, something went terribly wrong back in July 2011. A woman was riding the Wahoo Racer when she suffered cuts and torn ligaments to her wrist and hands. The injuries were so severe that she was rushed to a nearby hospital to have surgery on her left hand. The woman later filed a lawsuit against the park, and a court upheld an award of $1.5 million for her case. This incident served as a painful reminder of the importance of ride safety and the potential risks involved in even the funniest attractions. In conclusion, the accidents we've highlighted at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor Chicago are just a small fraction of incidents over the years. Each event underscores the importance of safety measures for those enjoying the rides and the operators and maintenance teams who ensure that every experience is as safe as possible. As exciting and thrilling as theme park rides can be, it's crucial to remember that safety should always come first. If you've ever experienced or witnessed an incident at a theme park, we encourage you to share your story in the comments below. If you found this video informative, be sure to check out our other videos.